All right, now for this next example, it says Angela is driving across the state to her friend's house. She just filled her fuel tank to its maximum capacity of 26 gallons. If the amount of gas in her car decreases two gallons every 48 miles, then which of the following graphs represents um, the amount of remaining gallons of fuel? So basically what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a y-intercept of 26. So uh, this one has a y-intercept of um, 28. Okay, so seeing it, this is a y-intercept of 28, so that's not it. This is a y-intercept of about 26, so that could be it. This is a y-intercept of 2. That's not it. And this is a y-intercept of 26. So in other words, uh, 0 gallons, you have 26. So that's always the y-intercept. And then we go, we decrease 2 gallons for 48 miles. So it's minus 2 over 48x. Now, truthfully, I could reduce that fraction uh, by dividing the top and bottom by two. So I'm going to go down one over 24x. And then this is our equation. So that's the graph I'm looking for. So now if I go down to here and I go over 48 here, So I, I think it's this one because I'm going to go from 26 down to 24, and then I go over 48. So in other words, I went down 2, and then I over here I went over 48. So this is the answer because I went down 2, and I went over 48. This one is not the answer because I went down from 26 to 24 to 20. That looks like 22. So this one I went down 4, and then I went over. I didn't go over 48. I went over, like, way too far. So Z is the correct graph. This is not it. And that's it. That's pretty easy.